Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 2nd of 2021, well, it is titled AR 2835 Islands in the Photosphere. So what do we see here? Well, this is an active region given the numbering of AR 2835. And this is looking at a portion of the photosphere of our sun. The photosphere is the part of the sun we actually see. So when you look at the sun, that is actually the part you are seeing. If you're watching a sunrise or sunset, you're seeing the photosphere of the sun. Now the sun does not have a solid surface. So it is not a surface in the sense that we're used to uh, thinking about here on Earth or on many of the other similar objects to Earth such as Mars or the moon. But it does have a region that we see uh, as the primary area where most of the light comes from. Now in that area we see lighter and darker regions and you can see a lighter region scattered around here in some very dark sunspots. Now they're mentioned as islands. They are not islands in any sense that we're used to other than that they are uh, special separate areas from the rest of the photosphere. But they are not a solid surface. They are not a peak into the interior even of our sun. They are simply cooler regions on the sun. Now the sun itself is about 6000 degrees Kelvin and the sunspots are about 4000 Kelvins. Now what that means is that something that is hotter is going to appear a lot brighter. So the brighter an object is the hot the brighter an object is the hotter it is and a cooler object is going to be therefore emitting less light. So it's going it's still emitting light it looks dark only because we see it against the background of a much brighter photosphere. Could we remove that sunspot material and place it out into space it would look bright and it would actually glow an orangish red color. So it is bright and it is hot. It is just cooler compared to the rest of the photosphere. Now sunspots like these come and go with about an 11 year cycle on our sun. And that means we've just come out of a minimum. So we're getting to the point now where we will start seeing more sunspots over the next few years. And more sunspots means more solar activity. So in this case, we're seeing a set of sunspots uh, on the photosphere of our sun. And to give an idea of size and scale, these are things that are about si the size of Earth. So this, this, this one here could be similar to Earth sized uh, for the sunspot. So it gives you an also a sense of how large our sun is when we're looking at only one small portion of our sun. Now if you look at the remainder of our, the sun you'll see that it has a very granulated appearance. These granules are because of convection cells within the sun itself. Energy is transported by convection where heated material from below uh, down to down towards the core rises to the surface and releases that energy. And each of those is a convective cell that we see scattered here all over the sun's surface. Now one last question to think about perhaps is why would the sunspot be darker? What would make this region be so much cooler by thousands of degrees than the regions around it? And typically this is believed to be the magnetic field of the sun that gets all tangled and twisted up. And then when it bursts out it impedes the energy flow and therefore cools off that portion of the sun. So that would tell us that these sunspots are regions of very strong magnetic fields, which is also something that has been verified by other measurements. So that was our picture of the day for July the 2nd of 2021. It was titled AR 2835 Islands in the Photosphere. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be have telescope will travel. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.